All right, so we just finished off uh, Dear Ray, and now we've got Paper Digital, same diff to me. Um, so, this is kind of a uh, joke for the old hats, you know, same difference, but, you know, doesn't really matter. I, I specifically said diff for a reason. Uh, this had 52 solves, so we had 52 solves, 427 points at the end, and it was hardish. Um, not all of them were tagged, but, you know, this was hardish. Um, and you kind of had to use, again, some logic. That's all OSINT is, is using logic and just the tools that are available to every single person online. You do not need to be a technical person to be good at OSINT. And again, having this skill set is so valuable. It's so valuable. And you can find a lot of things, especially with this, uh, that maybe people don't think about. So, uh, let's go through and take in a stock. What are we looking for? Goal, uh, keywords, and people. I'm just going to scroll down so this is all separate. And in the flag format, Nick, we know that. Uh, after a while, we do stop giving you flag formats all the time because it should be straightforward. If you're doing it again and again and again, you should know how to submit that flag. But you're looking for something a little hackerish, so let's go through here. So keywords. We know two of our members, Simon and Anna, were arguing. Uh, so add that into here. Simon, Anna. And I'm actually going to separate them and then go into our keywords. Uh, notes, maybe GitHub, probably, I mean, why would I be mentioning GitHub out of nowhere as the entire argument isn't the best place to take your notes because you might leave something public behind. Like maybe a note uh, about someone you didn't want public. Okay, uh, so I'm going to add another note section here. Note, Simon hints at stuff left behind. Um, then we hear Anna's argument. They disagree because you can just delete it and recommit it anyway. Okay, so commit. Uh, and it looks good to be active on GitHub. GitHub's active uh, mentioned again. So, okay, GitHub is now mentioned times two. We know GitHub is where we're probably going to have to end up. And someone reminded me that we can see changes, even what they wrote about Tom. Okay. So Tom... Is who we're looking for. Um, Simon explicitly states about Tom. Anna rushed off, uh, but now we're not sure what they're talking about. Could you figure it out? So, uh, this was, again, you have to know two of our members. You know that uh, we have stated multiple times throughout the CTF. Nick is the one who put this on, NICC. Uh, we're NJT's Information and Cybersecurity Club. So start doing OSINT. You don't even have to Google for this one. You just click around. So let's do research. Um, and I'm just going to keep note of my goal. Find out what was said about Tom by Anna. Because we know that Anna said this. All right. So we also know Anna is a member of Nick. Now you come on here uh, and you can say about. Are they in our staff? No because these are actually us. So let's go into our resources. We probably link, or our uh, link tree, we probably link to our GitHub somewhere. Let's see if uh, that's here. Anywhere that where they might be a member is a good place to look. Uh, resources maybe, but this is just for you guys if you want to see extra resources. Our Discord is there, but not where you want to go. But Nick does have two active members. And as you can see, I'm not signed in, so this is exactly what you would see as well. Um, so we know that we are looking for the GitHub. We know, obviously, that was mentioned multiple times. That's definitely the focus of this. Uh, so GitHub has two active members for Nick. And one of them's me, and one of them is, you know, you can see my stuff. I've got, what, 800 commits in the last year that you can see. And one of them is Anna Circa. Wouldn't you know it, Anna? All right, so we found Anna's... GitHub found, uh, and they've got one repo. All right, so two people are watching this. We can take a look, see anyone. Uh, 
Lemon. Um, I was probably just watching because I was posting. But that's okay. Um, you know, it was just about advanced encryption notes. It's from a book. Uh, these are actual notes from a book. And you can look through and you can see just using this take notes about encryption algorithms, cryptography, things like that. Uh, I do apologize, L Lemon or Lemon. I am not going to be adding to here, but we'll, we'll see. Um, and we can see Anna's got some notes here uh, going through any of this. All this, you're not going to find anything here. Uh, but we do know, again, commits were mentioned and that uh, Simon did say even if you delete it. So you need to know what are people doing. You need to know how does GitHub work. Well, when you commit something, it doesn't necessarily get rid of the old part. It just shows you what's changed. So let's go ahead and click on these commits uh, because we can see the details. So if it's in green, that means I added it or the person added it. It was a line that was added. If it's in red, that line was deleted or modified. So we can see that. Three additions, one deletion. And we can keep going through and just see anything else. Now, notice that this is here. You didn't actually have to find uh, in red, but in red it does get highlighted. That is going to be the flag. So I am just going to copy that out. No space. But you can keep going and eventually you can see if I want to encrypt, Tom is acting weird because he is, all right, then what, what's going on? How could I send that over the internet without Weirdo Tom figuring it out? And then when we get to the more recent one, we're here. That is called a diff. What we were just looking at were diffs. Uh, what changed between this? What was different between these things? Uh, so. It's a pretty simple way uh, to evaluate any open source project, see if anyone's leaked any information. Um, so that is all you need to do to solve that challenge. So we can submit, Tom is acting weird. All right, next uh, we will do, uh, we'll do these two together, but next up is going to be TikTok.